Hey, hey, what is up guys? Just Josie here. And I think today is a perfect day for me to craft something I've been looking forward to do. Since I think I pretty much have the materials necessary to make them. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now. What I'm going to be making today is Cranblow's dive helmet. Which I already have this, which I've crafted previously. So I gotta make three gold ingots. I gotta make five silver, five sturdy, and get five of those. So let's start gathering materials. So we need five salt wedges. <laughs> I'm gonna get 10 because I think I need this for another recipe. Alright. Gold ingots. <laughs> Which I'm gonna require opaque polish for the sturdy ingots. I'll take that, just in case I'll take the copper, and some iron. Let's see what else do I need for Grimblue's dive helmet. Alright, so copper, um, gold, silver, and yes I need copper, another silver ingot. Interesting. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of uh, iron. Hmm. How much do I have on me? Let's see if I have any in storage, which I don't think I have any. I sent them all to my alternate character. So you know what? Uh, I'll be RB. I'm going to switch over to my other character and get my iron. So we can go ahead and craft this. Well, isn't this fun? Getting to see both Josie and Cheshire in the same episode. That's pretty nifty, ain't it? But basically... I'll need to run over there and get the iron to send it over to Cheshire. Wee. Yeah, I know I'm weird, but whatever. And as you can see, like before anyone asks, I have patron status, but no, I did not purchase it with real money. My guildmate and friend, Azelian, gifted me patron status in the form of two Apex, which I went ahead and used to achieve patron status. So big shout out and thank you to him for that, because I would never have gotten it otherwise. Alright, so, okay, I pretty much have all of this iron from Cheshire on this character, just holding it. And I'll just take a hundred of it, I'm not going to need any more than that. So... Send it over to Cheshire and I'll send him some stone. <sighs> well, that's done. So I will see you back as Cheshire in just a moment. Welcome back. So I'm here just. Ah, uh, I really hate when my bids fail. But anyway, I got my iron and a bit of stone. So let's check again to see what is it that I need for the dive helmet. A 
Okay, I got the iron. I need copper and silver. So that's five each. So let's go ahead and make that one step at a time. So I need five copper. I'll speed through this. I just realized I actually need five more of this. So let's go ahead and make those. We're going to make 10 of these. Crap, my bag is full. Alright, let me just go drop stuff off. Metal. Silver. 10. Craft. Alright, so I went ahead and just made all the ingots that I need to see what else. Uh, we need silver ingots. Five. So let me quickly make that. And we can craft our... Grand Blaze Dive Helmet. Which... Now we gotta go to the plate armor form, which is right there. And it counts as a costume. Interesting. Alright, great way to throw away 150 labor points. There we go, we have Grand Blue's Dive Helmet. But the reason I got extra of these materials is because I also want to make this. So I need three more gold, three more silver, and two leather. Alright, so I just made everything. Wow, that takes 200 labor. It's quite interesting. But yeah, this is a great way to work up my metalwork proficiency. And a great way to level up. Uh, but yeah, I've been working on my metalworking proficiency. And this is a great way to do it. It's just make random stuff. I mean, I really do like these items. Where are they? There they are. So... This is, this lets me swim faster, and this lets me breathe underwater for one minute. Or it lets me stay underwater for a minute longer, and it also lights up the darkness, which is pretty good. So combine that with the clippers, um, I guess scuba tanks, you, you can actually stay underwater for quite some time. Let me just put away some of these ores. Let me remember what I yeah. have in my inventory. Um, right now what I'm going to do is, thanks to 
the fact that I'm just gonna cut the episode here and show you what the dive helmet and the swim fins can do. See you soon. All right, so as you can see, I'm swimming pretty fast. And thanks to the helmet, I get this actually lasts longer. But yeah, I think it's gonna become a tradition where we just take the thumbnail screenshot during the episode. But yeah, if you like this episode, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll continue bringing you these random crafting episodes. But I'll be seeing you until the next time. Goodbye.